Hello everyone. Welcome back to the series of object oriented programming with C++. In previous tutorial we discussed our first C++ program in depth. But there are certain things that are remaining. So one of them is standard input output stream. And we are going to discuss in this lecture. So we will take another example to understand these input and output stream objects. But just let us understand what is input stream and what is output stream object in front of these you can write std because they come from the namespace std and they use some operators along with them like c in uses stream extraction operator and c out uses stream insertion operator so what is the task it takes input from keyboard and store it to some variables or we can say memory right similarly insertion operator prints some output to the console right and it takes some variable or memory as we can say input from the one side and print it on another screen so you can see the flow it is taking input from the keyword and storing it in the into the variable in the insertion operator it is taking input from the memory and output it to the console right so it is extraction because it is extracting the value from the keyboard and it is, ins it is insertion because it is inserting output to the console so name might be a little bit misleading but yes uh, it is the name and you have to learn this second thing when we write std c in and use this operator we write variable in front of this let us suppose we have int a declared before you can see one thing here this is called scope resolution operator and there are a lot of uses of this operator which we will learn in future but as of now you can understand when whenever there is uh, some conflicts between scopes this operator is used so resolving conflicts means you can understand it through an example like you have two variables a and they both are in different namespaces uh, you can say it std1 and std2 but when you are using these uh, variables it will be difficult to understand which one you are using right so what you have to do whenever you are using a from std1 you have to use this scope resolution operator and when you are using a from std2 you have to use std2 double colon and then a right so in that way the scope of these variables will be resolved right now come back to this statement again and write a similar statement for C out so that it is easier to understand both these statements. You can see the arrow sign here and here as well. Although these two are operators and it's uh, sometimes tricky or uh, not uh, so easy to remember their names, but you can remember one thing very easily that is direction of these arrows right so what does the direction tells the direction tells us the flow of data here you can see the data is going from keyboard or any input stream to the memory and in this case data is going from memory to the output screen right so it becomes very easier to understand through this now take one example to understand the working of these two standard input output streams 
so what I am going to do I will open the terminal for you and create a new file which is sum.cpp and in this program I am going to input two variable take a variable a take another variable as input b but we first declare those variables a b and let us take third variable sum when first two variables are taken as input we can sum them and then we can output the sum you can also provide some message along with that and write C out and sum and then return 0 at the end see if something is remaining yes we have to provide some message also which is a prompt message one thing that is left is including namespaces we generally avoid this process uh, although this process is better in terms of uh, performance but we avoid it because uh, we have to type it a lot of time now let us compile the program and it has successfully compiled enter numbers it's asking for number provide first number 12 then 13 and you can see output is sum 25 you can modify the program further because we have not uh, given any new line at the end so you can do so one more thing we are writing two statements here at this point so what you have to do you can omit this whole thing from here and combine these two statements this is called concatenating chaining or cascading stream insertion operators so in this way we are using multiple stream insertion operators in a single statement right so you can again try the compiling the program then again enter 13 so you can see that uh, the C out and C in stream object facilitate interaction between the user and the computer and because this interaction resembles a, a dialogue it is often called interactive computing right you can again check the git status remove a dot out and then you can add some file then you can git commit provide some message message should be uh, a smaller sentence or statement sum of two numbers in C++ now you can push this to origin master right so like this you have uh, committed your uh, sum program you can again check if there is something we can do about it so another thing that I'm going to do is using namespace std at top in this case you can remove all the STDs here because you don't need any of them now even from here right and here as well so now your program is smaller and as you remember from our previous to previous class we can also omit this return zero statement right so now again if you check git status there will be some modification because we have modified this file now I want to compile this program to see if everything is fine now a dot out 12 13 and sum is 25 one thing that I have made a minor or silly mistake again 
is that I have removed ENDL but I can always put slash n at the end here if you want to put only slash n you can write it like this again try to compile the program g++ sum and your program is compiled successfully now enter two numbers and this is very clean now check the git status you have modified file you don't need to remove this error dot file every time so you can either do this git sum dot scpp or you can also do git add dot but this will add all the files and in this case I do not want to add a root out so I will write the name of file or what you can do you can remove this a dot out file and then add all the files now check the status again it is in green now you can commit the program and what you have to write you can write minor or I, I was about to write minor modification but I can write add namespace std to the program so this file is written you can check the status again so now everything is fine you have to push this commit and this commit is pushed you can also check git log to see the commits till now and this is the last one and here is the git uh, commit id right so there are a lot of uses press q and you will come out of this right so i think uh, this is enough for this lecture in next lecture we will cover a few more concepts if you have any doubt you can uh, write in the comments i will respond back thank you so much